McLaughlin also brings height to the Chelsea set pieces. Dibble is impeded. And the goal counts, and it's Kerry Dixon's. A scrambled affair when Andy Dibble didn't get there at the near post. Fifteen minutes gone. Dibble went for it. He's impeded by one of his own players. And Gary Megson couldn't keep it out from Dixon. Roberts. Another follow through on Morley then. Accepted in good part. And Dixon. Has he got away from Gale? He has. It's Wilson in the centre. 2-0 to Chelsea. They've struck the second blow with 23 minutes played. Dixon having scored the first. Out-muscled Brian Gale then. And looked up. Picked the pass beautifully to give an open goal to Wilson. to it Two City claims for a penalty Lake dispossessed and it's an amazing break by Chelsea and Tony DiRigo who goes round Dibble and finishes it all in style and Chelsea having been under the collar for the last 10 minutes or so have broken the length of the field to go three up surely quell the Manchester City fire. Dorigo, the player who found goals so hard to get before this season, only one league goal to his name. And this is his sixth of the season, so adventurous of Chelsea being. And he spotted the moment then and made the most of it. Molden has got the better of Roberts. Persistence has paid off to the extent of earning Manchester City a chance of getting one goal back. I must say it was a decision which didn't immediately leap to the eye. Robert shakes his head. McNabb then against Besson. And he sends him the wrong way. It's back to 3-1. A contentious penalty. But McNabb took the chance. Late for the last long throw for Manchester City. And Molden, and surely a goal for Taggart. 3-2 in stoppage time. Gerald Taggart, the 18-year-old, his first in the first team. With Chelsea struggling to get the ball away and it ran invitingly for Taggart. To...